everyone. Welcome to the first episode of 10 and 10, in which we will be discussing what 10 and 10 is, my rebranding process, and other important topics. I'm your host, Lara, and I was the creator of the Everything Team podcast, which started off in October of 2021. About two months ago, I hit some sort of mental block, and I was running out of motivation and ideas towards my podcast, and I kept making excuses for myself. Um, and I kept pushing further and further to the date for, like, a new episode. So I took the time to think and to rebrand into another idea. Um, all my content from the past is still up on the internet, so you'll always be able to go back and explore those blog posts and episodes if you like. So, 10 and 10 is basically a weekly podcast that aims at creating bite-sized episodes, ranking 10, giving 10, rating 10, or simply stating 10 things, considering the title of the episode, which will be 10 minutes long. For example, 10 books you should read this summer, 10 tips for productivity, or the top 10 richest billionaires and how they got to where they currently are. The topic could range from deadliest animals to to study tips, so you always find something to your taste. I'm also planning on having guests, Q&A sessions, as well as many other format ideas for my episodes. I will be releasing three episodes on August 8th, um, so you guys can get a sense of what 10 and 10 is, and then a new episode will be released every Monday. You can follow the podcast at 10 and 10 podcast on Instagram, and visit our website at 10 and 10.card.co, card with two R's. You can always check the podcast episode description for additional links and resources. So I thought to start off with before uh, recording other episodes, I would... Um, give like 10 facts about me to start off um like the season well or the podcast well so 10 facts to stay within the 10 and 10 um theme so number one i am a high school student my favorite subjects are math and english as well as psychology and neuroscience that i study that i learn about outside of school so i always go into these phases i'm really good at getting into phases, random phases all the time, so I I can't even count them anymore, but, um, right now, I want to be a neurosurgeon, and this has lasted a few weeks, and I've been reading books and watching documentaries, and when I get into one of these little phases, I start really focusing on it, so I'm reading this book called Basic Neuroanatomy by C.G. Smith, uh, by the University of Toronto Press, and I have it right here, and... It was actually published in 1961, so I don't know how accurate it is anymore, but it's a great way to start with neuroanatomy, and I've always been interested in neuroscience, and I've been reading books about it for a while now, but not too many, so I wanted to really start getting into it a bit more. Watching documentaries on Netflix, there's a really great um, show called The Surgeon's The Surgeon's Cut, uh, which I recommend you watching it. It's, uh, I watched the episode on the neurosurgeon, obviously. Anyways, enough about that, because I only have 10 minutes, but I'm currently reading that, and uh, at some point I want to be a psychiatrist, and then a psychologist for, like, war veterans, and then I want to be, like, um, an athlete, so it always changes. Two, I love to run. Um, I run competitive cross-country on my school team. Actually, I wouldn't say competitive because it's our school isn't really um, running focused. Um, <laughs> we don't even have a track and field team. I guess it was because of COVID, but it's not like in America where you have like teams and you have like track meets every week. It's more of a club and people run even though they've never run, run in their life or they've been running for like several years. So it's really a, like a, a group of people just wanting to run, which is nice in its own way. I have um, one, epi- uh, one not episode, I have one race a year, which is nice because it's something to look forward to. Um, so yeah, I have a, a 5k road race coming in September, and then I have the 4k uh, regionals in October, beginning of October, so that's really exciting. And today I'm actually going to be going on my long, long run, so also excited for that. Three, I also like to play volleyball and go swimming. I played soccer for about six years. I, I don't know exactly, a long time. 
basically my whole entire elementary career. Um, Four, I am currently learning American Sign Language. So I had tried to learn other languages previously, but American Sign Language really stuck with me because it's a different way of communicating and It's fascinating to learn how important eye contact and facial expressions are in ASL, and I've just really enjoyed learning throughout the time that I've been reading about it. Um, And yeah, I I speak fluently English, as you can hear, um, and French, and then I also am pretty fluent in Swedish because my mom is from there. Um, I try learning Spanish for a while and then a tiny bit of Korean um but yeah American Sign Language is such a beautiful language and I want to be able to communicate with people um in different ways so that's the that's one thing I'm doing um five I had a greeting card business for about a year before switching over to podcasting so it was called Lara's Cards and I was I was pretty small back then and um I was just um taking my pen, doing calligraphy, and that kind of thing, uh, and, and I really liked it, because it was the first time, apart from, like, a small lemonade business I had with my twin brother, um, when I was, like, seven, so it was my first time where I actually took responsibility over a hobby or project, and I did it all on my own, not even my parents, like, I managed the money and stuff like that, so it was, it was, it was really great for a while, and then I decided to switch to podcasting because uh, I just find there's more... I'm really inter- interested in graphic design, so I feel like there's more um, opportunities to design uh, certain things in the podcast industry, and I have more control, I feel like. And, uh, yeah, even though I'm not making money, I don't care. It's just something I love to do. I love to talk to a wall, and... <laughs> well, if you're listening out there, I appreciate, but... Right now, I'm just talking to a wall with the computer in front of me, glass of water next to me, and my basic neuro neuroanatomy book on my left. So it's it's a very um, solo project. Uh, I don't really interact with a lot of people except for other podcasters, but I do really, really enjoy it. So uh, hi, if you're on the other end listening. Uh, so I had another podcast called the Everything Teen Podcast, and like I said before, and all my content is still online, so the Everything Teen Podcast, I only had two seasons, but basically um, the first season was about teenage hurdles, and the second season was about careers, so check that out if you're interested in wanting to listen to an interview with an actress or a pilot or an emergency doctor, or you want some advice on sleep screen addiction or you know confidence um I was younger back then so my episodes are a bit worse than now (laughs) so um seven I read a lot of books I like mystery I also went through a phase where I was writing a lot I convinced myself to write a whole entire novel which stopped at like 60 pages because I, (laughs) I lost motivation um eight I'm scared of spiders heights and oceans I've always been confused as of why so many people are scared of spiders. You know, like, I can't help it, but why am I not scared of ants? Why, why is no one scared of ants, but so many people are scared of spiders, even though they're basically the same size? And nine, I want to do an Iron Man one day. So basically, an Iron Man is a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, and 26.2 mile run. Um, so yeah, definitely not easy, but... I'm up for the mental and physical challenge. I've always been interested in fitness and what my body can do and how much I can push it um, to its limits. Not not like over um, the line like David Goggins. I'm not, I'm not, David Goggins is a great guy, but he's just, I would not be able to go to the level that he is at. Um, but if you need any motivation, do look him up. Um, he's great if you're ever like in a rut. Um, and finally, my favorite podcast is the Teen Girls Investigate Crime podcast by Jillian and Izzy. You can find them on Instagram. You can find them on all platforms that you listen to. Just a great podcast for all the true crime lovers. So that's 10 things about me. I hope you enjoyed this episode and we're actually nearing exactly 10 minutes. Um, so See you soon, see you.
next week. And until then, have a great week.